Welcome to this lesson on integrating powers of sine and cosine. We'll begin with the easier case. That's when the problem contains an odd power. In example 1, we'll evaluate the integral of sine 4th x cosine 3rd x dx. The first step is to separate the odd power factor cosine third into cosine squared times a cosine. Next, we'll group the cosine x with the dx. What does this accomplish? Here's a hint. Cosine x dx is d of sine x. That means if we could express the integrand in terms of sine x, we might be able to integrate. So let's write 1 minus sine squared x in place of the cosine squared x. To save writing and to make the solution easier to follow, let us substitute u for sine x. If u is sine x, du is cosine of x dx. The integral now looks like the integral of u to the fourth times 1 minus u squared times du. So that's an easy integral, right? To integrate that, we multiply the terms out. We get u to the fourth minus u to the sixth. Next, we use the power rule for each term. We get u to the fifth divided by five minus u to the seventh divided by seven plus c. And the last step is to substitute the sine x back in for u. And we're done. Let's review this method. We took one of the odd factors and tagged it onto the dx. This leaves us an even factor, which can always be expressed in terms of the other function via the trig identity, sine squared plus cosine squared equals to 1. Let's try an example where the sine is raised to an odd power. Sine to the fifth x is separated into sine to the fourth x times a sine x, which we tag on to the dx. The derivative of cosine x is negative sine x dx. That means if we could get everything in front in terms of cosine, we're all set. The trig identity we use is sine squared is 1 minus cosine squared. So in this problem, we're going to let u be cosine of x. du is negative sine x dx. We get the integral of 1 minus u squared, the whole thing squared, times u to the 6 times sine x dx is negative of du. Let's pull that negative sign outside the integral. Do we know how to integrate that? Well, you just have to multiply everything out. So square that factor out first. We have 1 minus 2u squared plus u to the fourth, all that times u to the sixth du. Next, distribute the u to the sixth into the factor. We have u to the sixth minus 2u to the eighth plus u to the tenth. Next, apply the power root to each term and distribute the negative sign. We get negative u to the seventh over seven plus two times u to the ninth over nine minus u to the eleventh over eleven plus c. And to finish up, substitute cosine x back in for u. 
all done. In the next lesson, we will look at the even power case. Until then, have fun.